Hey everybody, Sam here and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I have a farm fix, a field fix, and a modification of this Earthquake Outdoors acreage rough cut mower that really takes it from good to awesome. Let's go. So I've been using this brush mower for I think about three work days so far and there is an obvious flaw with how it co-mingles with my four-wheeler. I won't say it's a design flaw of the mower itself because it probably was better for other equipment, but for us, our ATV and how things are, it is frustrating to say the least. What happened here is the brush mower ran into this tree, or well, I pulled it into the tree and it hit that triangle piece in front of the wheel. And instead of being able to hold everything together and let it kind of pop over and keep going, the actual hitch part that hooks to the four-wheeler has a pin going through it. It pulled so hard that it kind of splayed it open, popped the cotter pin off, it's gone, but I have extra. So I need to kind of bend that bracket back together, close it up and put another pin in place and just be a lot more careful as I'm pulling this thing around. This part here, this little piece that goes over the hitch, that's what splayed open. And honestly, it's the second time this has happened. I don't know if they make a hitch adapter to hook it onto a ball hitch, but I would much prefer one of those at this point because I'm going through cotter pins quicker than I'd like. I have extras, but they're not cheap, so I don't like to lose them here in the field. But you gotta keep doing the job, so keep using the stuff. All right, third time's a charm, I hope. That's the fourth time that thing has popped off my cotter pin. I'm done for today. It's getting frustrating and I'm out of cotter pins. So I'll go turn it off, see if I can strap it to the four wheel or take it back, put it up for the evening. At least with this one, the pin and the clips attached. So I don't know what the deal is, but I'm done.
And just like that, with a cheap ball hitch from Harbor Freight, two grade eight bolts, handful of washers and nuts, we have converted this earthquake brush cut mower from a hitch pin style setup to a ball hitch. This is going to be wonderful for allowing us to quickly connect and disconnect not only the mower to our four-wheeler, but also our utility trailer, our seed spreader, any other kind of stuff we have. Most of all that stuff has a ball hitch on it. So now the earthquake can play nicely, get along and be a lot less hassle and headache on us to swap out. It was very important to me to be able to attach this and convert it without destroying the mower's original design. I never know what the future may hold. I never know what's gonna come down the road. So I didn't want to destroy that black adjustable hitch piece. I think it did pretty good. I ended up only having to drill one hole right here through the frame. And then this one is a little sloppy. If it gets crazy, it can move, but I think it's gonna be fine. It's more of a clamping action than a lock it in place. The amount of distance that this bolt could travel is not going to affect the performance or the path of the mower. If it went to the left, I'm really not gonna be able to tell it. So I'm not worried about that at all. And being grade eight bolts, these things should not be the weak link in this system. So theories and looks and giggles aside, it's time to put this on the mower and actually see how it handles and performs. Well, it looks good back there. I'm gonna run this through the field at some pretty high speeds, faster than what I would mow with. I just wanna see if this thing pops off or not. Let's go. So good so far. Cool. Let's run around.
I've been out here running this trail mower around for about 30 minutes, going very, very fast, much faster than I ever would when I'm cutting. The engine has been off, so I've not been trying to cut and run, but I've been putting this thing through its paces with that new ball hitch. And if I look pink, it's because I've been tickled pink. That is awesome. Hands down the best upgrade we could have done for this mower, our ATV setup, and it just makes it more functional to make it more versatile and really get rid of what was, for me, the number one frustration point with this mower, which was the hitch pin setup. I'm probably being a lot rougher on this mower than the average person might be, but it's also the kind of life this thing's gonna live out here on our farm, so it's kind of gotta hold up, and we might as well put it through those hurdles, fix what we can, and learn the limitations early on before we think that this is Terminator on wheels. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, the mower, the ATV, everything in general, leave them for us down below. Otherwise, take care, and we'll see you guys next time on the homestead.